for these subvariants, for the current ones, um, are there any new symptoms? Like, did the mutation make any new symptoms to look out for, or are they mostly the right. from Omicron? Yeah, so for the most part, the symptoms of um, BA4 and 5 are very similar to the normal Omicron symptoms, so, and flu symptoms in general, right? So you have your fever, sore throat, cough, headache, um, those sorts of things, fatigue, muscle ache, shortness of breath, and all those sorts of things. Um, but with BA4 and 5, a lot of things that I've noticed just between kind of like my inner circle and kind of like listening in on people who've got recently infected and what their symptoms were, uh -huh. um, a lot of people are more are experiencing more severe sore throats. So that might have to do because since we're talking about mutations here, BA4 and 5 has a lot more mutations that kind of make the spike proteins a little bit more well, sticky, if you will, like to the cells. So we talked about, you know, mutations can happen to the spike proteins and what will happen is the spike proteins are a little bit more sticky. They'll grab onto whatever cells they can and also replicate a lot faster. So for someone who breathes in COVID and they might get virus in their like respiratory pathway, some of those viruses might actually stick to their throat and then replicate in their throat, causing inflammation, a little bit more pain, sore throat, that sort of thing. Um, another thing that I'm seeing is with Unlike maybe the earlier Omicron variant and maybe like the end of Delta, we're actually seeing more people getting loss of taste and smell, which kind of went away for a little bit. Um, I know that with Omicron <clears throat> in January and February, some people didn't lose their taste and smell at all, whereas now people are uh, reporting you know, loss of taste and smell more frequently. So that's something to think about. And then another thing is with Omicron kind of mutating into this more contagious variant, it's finding different ways to maybe like replicate itself without being detected. And one of those mm -hmm. things that might be happening here is people are getting less fevers. So I've noted that people might test positive with like their, their at-home test, but actually um, don't have a fever. And then you kind of like get confused, like, okay, it's been about five days. Do yeah. I actually, and I don't have a fever, but... I'm testing positive on my antigen test. What do I do, right? Yeah. And so uh, you run into these weird situations like, okay, I don't have a fever, so I met that criteria, but I still have a an positive antigen test. So what do I do, right? Um, so that sort of thing. And, and that is what I feel like we're seeing. So kind of to recap with some of the new people here, which welcome, welcome. Um, we're talking about um, COVID, BA4, and 5 symptoms that are different. So on fire sore throat, so much more severe sore throat that might do, be due because BA4 and 5 is more like sticky, if you will, and might be more living in the like upper respiratory area versus like down in your lungs, like older variants. Um, and that might be why it's, it's more mild in general, because it's living up here versus down in your lungs. Um, you're all, we're also seeing that some people are losing their taste and smell more often now than they did maybe with the beginning of Omicron. Um, so that's very interesting. And also we're seeing people who are testing positive, but are not having a fever, but are having, you know, cough, congestion and those sorts of things. So it can be confusing when you're trying to figure out when you can be out of quarantine. And, and again, to like add on to that, you know, kind of just keep testing yourself every 48 to 72 hours, monitor your symptoms and then kind of go through like that full five to 10 days worth of quarantining if you're not having a fever, but still testing positive. Yeah. But yeah, before we move into like my next question, because you, you mentioned a really good point about like keep testing and, and keep up that um, the protocol. Um, but before we move into that, I'll just add like a personal story because I actually. Um, oh, yeah, I got COVID at the beginning <clears throat> of June and it was interesting because I'm, I'm hearing from you that like the symptoms with BA.4 and 5 are not um, there is more sore throats, less fevers. Um, I actually got a fever. It was not that, not very fun. Um, and we know that COVID looks different in, in everyone. So right, exactly. I got a fever. Um, I had a sore throat and I had lots of fatigue. Like I, I had brain fog and, and my body was really tired. So um, if there's anyone in the IG live right now, like in the chat, if you want to feel free to share like any um, experiences or, or comments you have around COVID yeah, definitely. Symptoms, we'd love to look back at them. 